this short video, I want to discuss the Carrier um, Motion 3. This is a relatively new appliance compared to the Motion 2, but it's fantastic. Now the design is different to the Class 2. There's no um, ball joint. What you do have, mesial off the first molar, you have this bayonet bend. Um, and again, measurement, very similar to what we do in the upper with the ruler. When you bond it, uh, the concept would be then for anchorage in the upper to use either full fix braces with a TPA, uh, to use a vacuum retainer, which is what we're showing here with a bondable tube, or to use a tag in the IZC. All of those give you the anchorage considerations. The forces are the same. We start with um, six ounce and then we move on to eight ounce. The concept of driving on one side versus the other is also the same. In my class three cases, invariably I'm using it on both sides. It's very rare I'm going to use the class three only on one side for actual activation. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed the short videos we put together, but really you're going to learn more if you come to a uh, one day course. I'm doing a course with uh, Vanessa Truitt of NAOL uh, next year, Saturday, 2nd of February. So please reserve that date. On that course, you will get a workbook and the workbook explains everything in perfect detail. Um, how to measure the appliance, how to bond the appliance. And we've also put together a quick start guide which covers not only the class two appliance, but also the class three appliance. So by coming to the course, you'll leave with the confidence of diagnosing the case, placing the right anchorage, knowing how to follow the case through. My strong recommendation is to get yourself a class three type on and a class two type on. I use this every day at a patient consultation when I explain to them how I'll start their case before fixed braces.